Generic greetings and welcome back to Tavern Master. Today's beverage is a nice coffee, black, no sugar. Very stimulating indeed. So welcome back to Tavern Master, where in the previous episode we got a lot of pirates. I think that was the main takeaway. We had a lot of pirates here and oh, well, there you go. Serve a lot of smoked ham and also serve lots of customers, which means yes, more money. So overall, pretty happy with that and also progress wise, we got all of these tables and chairs upgraded, or tables and benches upgraded to the highest rating we can possibly get and similar thing for this corner so yeah overall not too bad the main takeaway for research was that we got the big hotel furniture which means that once we have finished today we can look at maybe upgrading all of these to level five now that wasn't originally my intention the intention was to expand to another floor but looking at the spend uh, 12,600 in one day. Okay, we'll do the upgrades tomorrow because then at least we will get that, uh, yeah, we'll get that done. Anyway, um, so yeah, it wasn't originally my intention to put these as level four. In fact, my original intention was to have these at level one to one to two. And then we realized that actually level three was relatively easy because you had a bedside table. But to get level 4 was also very quick as well. The requirements for level 5 are not too difficult. You need everything upgraded to level 5, which it's a shame we've already had. Uh, we've already bought these, but again, the, the intent was not to upgrade these to level 5. It was level 2 originally, you know, and you know we've crept up to level 4. 4 stars. So, yeah, what we'll have to do is sell all of the beds and the wardrobes, get the level 5 versions of those, and then maybe look at uh, some of the other stuff as well. So let's just go ahead and check out some of these pickups here. We can't, no point in picking up the strawberries or the mushrooms, the hams on the go. I think we'll go for maybe some some of those, and I think we're full of fish as well. Uh, turkey, no, but the sea bass, yes. So turkey. Let's send everybody because it doesn't cost any more. So prestige because of our upgrades is 24,075. Money is just over 6,000. The four quests that we have going is defend against thieves once. That'll just be a random event. Refill 800 litres of any drink. That's already on the go. 257 out of 800. So we'll get that eventually. Uh, spend more than 12,600 per day, that'll be what we'll do tomorrow, and serve 100 rare customers by organising events. It doesn't mean that, or if it does it's a bug, but we're still getting that, and we are currently on uh, 20, 25 of 100, so we're already, we're already a quarter of the way there, and we're not running any events, so pretty happy with that. In terms of food, we've got quite a number of things on the menu. We've got a walnut cake, coconut pudding, and turkey to find, and also we can now put fish stew on the rest. Yeah, on the uh, menu, which means also, I think, we can check our events, and yes, we can invite Merlin. So Merlin the wizard can come to our uh, to our uh, premises. So if I set that going, let's see if we do see them, and let's see if we can point them out as well. Like, ah, oh, there they are. Um, so we'll go for the next day, and we'll pick up our strawberries, no, our ham, yes gonna run for some more ham because the smoked ham seems to be the thing that people really really want and it's doing this actually classes as spending which it does yeah that's fine research wise we are going for the fireplace grill we need 103 gold customers and then one royal i would have thought that the royal which uh, let's have a quick look uh, we have a one percent chance of that i would have thought we'd have got that by now although it's possible we will see that shortly uh, guests per day because of our increase in prestige is nearly 300 so i'm going to increase the prices of our of our food and such uh, and drink and that means that we now have uh, only 119 guests which is still more than more than uh yeah necessary uh just have a quick check can we increase the price of these we can't i think it just is based on when they level up okay fair enough so let's just check upstairs then i'm gonna do an upgrade on one of these areas i want to just see what one of these hotel upgrades is like. So I'm going to sell that, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to get a bed at the Lux bed, which is actually better for us because, well, it's the, it's the right colour. The wardrobe I will put in... Um, 
Well, this is the thing. I, I don't like the wardrobe there, but we need a fireplace and we need a bath. So let's just realistically put... Hmm. Well, you're not going to have... Hmm. Other noises of contemplation are available. Huh. And we need a bathtub. And it's it's big. It's... it's bathtub... Uh, bathtub is not a small item. Bathtub is... I don't like the idea of that amount of water. I don't know what the joist load on this building is, but it seems to be... That seems to be overdoing it. So, realistically then, if that was there... What I'm going to do is... Pause it a second. I like the idea of the fireplace being near the bath. So let's move that over to the... No, we can't. That can't go to that corner. That can move down. That can go in that corner there. The carpet can stay where it is. That can go there. Um... What if we put the fireplace in that corner? The bath in that corner and the fireplace there would work out, wouldn't it? It doesn't matter how long this takes to get done. It's all about getting it done right. And is it miscellaneous? Not in decorations. There it is. So I can put that there. I'd like that there, followed by the the bath right in front of it. Like that. Nice and warm. But I don't think it's going to happen. So maybe just put that... No, none of that looks right to me. Okay. Let's just shift these outside for now. Put that down there. Put that back where it was. That goes there. That goes there. Wardrobe. Can go... Wardrobe can go in here. And 250 for that. And that is a 5 star rating. Okay. Um... Carpets then. Sell that. Animal skin. No, I don't like that. Red carpet. It's possible. You have to go into multiple tabs to get that carpet. There we go. It's not ideal, but it's what we're going to do. Okay, right, fine. So we're going to sell all these carpets. One, two... And three, we're going to go over to our tab for the beds and wardrobes. One, two, three. That's the Lux bed of 1,800 generic units of currency. The wardrobe will go in uh, one, two, three. That already gives it a four star rating before we mess around. In the corner, the very far corner, one, two, three for a tub, followed by decorations. Oh, don't have enough for the fireplace. So, after all that, we can pick up the next one, <laughs> spend more than 12,600, which is done. Uh, we just need the, the fireplace. It does feel like a cosy room, though, apart from the fact that these doors are just, well, they don't have doors on, they're not a door, they're just an opening. But we have a bed in there now, so we could put other things in. But you don't need it, do you? Realistically. Anything else we add in, in terms of, like, decoration, will only increase the prestige in the building in general. Won't it? Uh, yeah, it won't do anything in terms of star rating. What I am going to do, which I think is a reasonable thing to do, is move the light on the other side, because we've got the light coming from the fireplace... So putting a lamp on the other side, which we already have one in anyway, so it's just a case of just moving it over, is uh, is okay. Like I say, I wouldn't imagine what the floor load of those joists are. <laughs> We've got a, a stone fireplace with no chimney or anything, and then 
a lot of water <laughs> in that corner. Okay. We need a couple of thousand, which we now have. So one, two. Our prestige is now over 2,500. Uh, sorry, 25,000. Uh, 25,425 is our prestige. So that's good. In terms of our staff members, we have someone leveled up. Increase our researchers. We don't need to. Let's go for climbing speed on that level up there. That should be fine. Menu, we have the green pea stew level up to level four. I wouldn't have thought that. And there's our expenditure. Quests for today. Serve more than 170 customers per day. In a day. It does specifically say in a day. So yeah. And now we're getting our guests to go. Uh, 6,000. Wow. So that is 6,000. For serving 60 rare customers in one royal customer. Let me pick up the coconuts. Let me pick up the lamb I think it is. Strawberries. Don't need to. Mushrooms. We don't need to. Green peas. We always send someone out to get that. Um, we'll go for, I think fish is full. I'll double check on the cheese grommet. Yeah, we probably send someone out for the cheese. And then we'll go for the coconuts. I can't do any more. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just looking from this thing. Can I see Merlin? Can I see Merlin? No. No. Aha! That looks like a wizard to me. Pointy hat. Is that Merlin? Apparently they're ordering something. Come to the picture, and this is all we have to go by. Yeah, they, there they are. That's Merlin the wizard. Merlin, welcome to our humble establishment. Hopefully you like what you see. And pass it on to all of your wizarding mates and other members of certain round tables that you may know. Let us know what they think. Send them here. Give us money, etc. <laughs> And there's our nice new uh, upgraded place up here. Still don't put all the carpets in though, so I'll do that. One, whoops, one, two, three. Drop that, then move that along. Just increase that. I think I will pick up the strawberries just to clear that and that one as well. So we can run more quests for like coconuts and walnuts and stuff. Just to fill things up. So we now have, obviously on that menu, fish stew. What's the next one? That'll be hidden behind quests. Mona Lisa is the next one. Followed by money. Followed by Hugo the Leap Bartender. Followed by more money. Followed by that. A new recipe. And then a bit more money than recipes and head chefs and then... That's like a roast chicken or a roast turkey by the look of it. Which is required, I know, because I saw it, for the king and queen. So we've got Merlin the wizard. We haven't yet got the ability to get the Viking theme party. But we do have Merlin the wizard. There's then the prince visit, which is 100 gold and one royal. Followed by the king and queen feast, which is two royal and 200 gold. Realistically though, would you ever... Oh. Look at that. So, the mead completely ran out on that one. <laughs> uh, let's just pick that up. Completely ran out even though we can, even though it automatically buys. So that's been completely used today in one go. Wow, okay. Alright. And there's Merlin the Wizard. Sinking a beverage. And they're heading out. And... We've now got the Mona Lisa. Interesting. Where shall I put the Mona Lisa? Special Mona Lisa. It's free. Place it. Where should we place it? Up there, so it's staring at. <laughs> so she's staring away. Or is she? We don't know as you come up the stairs. That, that'll just trick you. There is a thief who we can skip. And... Successfully defended. That's another five. So serve only soups for the full day. Serve more than 170 per day. Reach, uh, reach 
553 guests per day. Well, that's extremely easy to do. You go to the bar, you say change price, you decrease it, then you increase it, and then you uh, basically profit. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so, that was relatively easy. I'm just going to pause the game for a moment while I go here. I'm selling all of these. Because, well, I am. One, two... One, two, three, one, two, and... Oh! I was going to say, I didn't have the right amount of money. I, I thought, yeah, there's no way I have the right amount. I think I said 6,000, but obviously we sold all of this stuff anyway. So I did that before we got some people arriving. I didn't want them to arrive and then, you know... Uh, <clears throat> I didn't want them to arrive and then sit on the chairs. Because then we'd be maxed out. Pick up the lamb legs, pick up the uh, the meat. Let's go for some green beans, more ham, and coconuts. Not enough money. We're at adventure level calculator based on prestige. So it says 10. Somehow. <laughs> it just does, it says 10. Um, and there's the available adventurers. Send them all off. Oh, you can only have six on the go. Yeah, of course. So, fine, fine. Okay. Well, we are still going for the fireplace grill. After that, it would be the soup. I guess, what else is there to buy? Let's have a quick look in our hotel here. In here, we have a grandfather clock. Dodge just says clock. Where realistically would you put that in here? You wouldn't. A mirror? That's... I can say realistically something you could find. Oh, a little writing desk. Small writing table. And then a divider. Oh, I like the divider. Realistically, you'd have the divider there, wouldn't you? So people, people wouldn't be able to look in. But then it also completely stops people from going in that corner. So... I actually don't really like it. I mean, we could place it there. Room divider like that. It just means that, you know, they'd have to shift it if they wanted to use it to divide up this area and this area so people can't, like, see into that. But I'll wait until we got more money. And I do like the we got the mirror as well. Can't see a reflection of the camera in it. Bit of a shame. So that we should have enough money for the dividers now, because they're only 200. But provides 50 prestige each. But you can see it's not altering the prices of this, the room info. It's just not altering it. Um, I don't know how much the mirrors are. How much are the mirrors? It's two grand, I think it was. Two thousand. Yeah, I'm not going to put the mirrors in. They're really expensive. We'll increase prestige, but... Yeah, I don't think it's, don't think it's strictly necessary. Still roll fun, fun band, uh, fun band. Yeah, it might be a fun band, but it's also a full band. Just checking the levels of the food and drink, which is about even. So ninety-two people still remaining, which is four percent chance to get a royal customer. So, aye. And, oh, people are actually staying in. Oh, look at that. They actually walk through the, the divider there. So, if we wanted to, we could place the divider there. Hmm. Okay, well, we are going to leave it there for this episode and most likely for the series. Um, I did ask a couple of episodes ago if you want to continue on and there was it was overwhelmingly yes. Uh, continue on, uh, if nothing else, to get the extra um, ratings on the hotel. We've done that. We're now maxed out on the hotel. So we're getting 250 each. So that's pretty good. That's a thousand per night for our our meagre uh, four room lodgings. But again, they are quite nice. Quite nice quite nice rooms. However, anything more would just be longer. So research, we've got the fireplace grill, we've got the props for soup. Which that requires all of this requires in well, it requires another kitchen technically yes we can, we could place the new grill 
and the new soup thing in the old kitchen. But, I don't think we need to. It does mean the people won't have to wait as long. Ooh, look at all that food going to waste. All oh, that's been ordered, and then the people have left. Um, yeah, so, it just means that basically we'd be waiting for more, more research. Waiting for the grill, waiting for the props for soup, then get unlimited bars which we don't need, and then get the new floor, which, as soon as we get the new floor, it would be more kitchen, there would be another kitchen up there, there probably wouldn't be another bar, but it would be some more lodgings, but it would just be more, it wouldn't be seeing new stuff, so we wouldn't see any new ratings in the hotel, and yes, we might be able to, you know, it's a shame that we're not able to do the events for Prince Visit and King and Queen, but let's be honest, it doesn't really add much more to it. So, yeah, we're going to leave it there for Tavern Master. Played longer than we thought I would, because it obviously it is, um, I wouldn't say a shallow game, but it's certainly, um, it's certainly one that is fairly chill and, yeah, not massively in-depth, which is fine, it is what it is, but, um, yeah, anything more I think would not be of great note. So, happy to leave it there, and on a positive touch. We may look at the game again if time comes that it was upgraded and more things are added and blah blah. I know there's been a roadmap released and there's a lot more improvements and changes and additions that uh, the uh, developers pointed out that they wanted to make. So we'll see what that is like. But either way, for now, that has been a bit of Tavern Master. And yeah, we are seeing, I guess, uh, that's the last, well, last, last time that we will be here for the Free Beverages Tomorrow Tavern. Overall, pretty happy with our build and hopefully it's been an enjoyable one for you as well. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, as always, we'll go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.